Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D CGI ad animation in After Effects. Now this is done entirely using After Effects, no third party plugins, nothing. This is just simple After Effects. So using this technique, you can create any kind of animation like this. So let's see how to make this. So I'm after fix and before we proceed I have an announcement for you guys. So I just restructured and updated my Patreon page. Now there are three tiers beginner, advanced and expert and under the expert tier I will be teaching some advanced 3D CGI and VFX tutorial. So all the advanced animations that you have seen on my Instagram page I will teach them and I will upload tutorial breakdowns for them on my Patreon page under this tier. So if you are interested in learning something new and advanced and taking your skills to the next level then you can join this tier right now. So the first tutorial is out right now in which I have explained how you can create this advanced 3D shoe animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So it is live right now and you can join the tier to get access to this tutorial and along with other perks that are available on my Patreon page. So all the details are in the description. You can click on the link and join right now. Now let's begin. So now to create this animation, we need the latest version of After Effects. Now I'm going to use this version 25.1 and if you're using the older versions, then you won't be able to do it because we are going to use the new feature which is called advanced 3d and which is available only in the newer versions so make sure to update it and after that we need a 3d shoe model and for that i'm going to use this one this unused blue vans shoe and it is made by this guy i'm probably going to pronounce his name wrong so shout out to him and you can use any 3d model you want and once you have it you can just simply click on download 3d model and currently this new feature only supports the obj file and the gltf and glb file so you can download any of these and i'm using this glb file just click on download and it will download the file also in order to light our scene and to give it a really nice look we are going to use an hdri so for that you can go to polyheaven website and from here you can see we have a bunch of different hdris and you can use whatever you want depending upon how your scene is so just click on the hdri and make sure that you are using the exr file format not the hdr and from here you can select the quality 4k works good for me then just simply click on download and you will have your hdri now import everything in after effects and you are ready to go now in order to create this animation we also need a raw footage in which we are going to add our shoe so i'm going to use this shot which i downloaded from pexel again it's completely up to you, you can use whatever you want and once you have it just import it inside the after effects by dragging the clip like that now here we have our composition and there is one setting that you have to change before you start importing your model so first go to composition click on composition setting go to rendering engine and make sure you have selected the advanced 3d if you have like classic 3d or cinema 4d just switch it to advanced 3d and you are ready to go again if you're using the older versions then you won't have this just update it and you will get it now we are done with the settings our next step is to track this scene so that we can place our shoe here so first select this and i'm going to search for 3d camera tracker let's drag it onto this clip and after effects will take some time to analyze it and i will come back once it is done so now the tracking is done and you can see after effects has given us a couple of these points and if i move around you can see all of these are sticking to their location now just simply pick a point where you want your shoe to be so i want my shoe to be somewhere around here after that just click and drag and select a couple of these points which are in the area where you want your object to be then simply right click and create solid and camera like that now we have the solid i'm going to make it like little bit big like this now if i press play you can see that it is sticking to its location that means our track is perfect now we are ready to add our model so now to do that all you have to do is just simply select the model which you imported and drag it inside the composition and after that it will give you this point just click on make comp size otherwise your object will be too big then click on ok now here we have our shoe if i play you can see it is moving around our scene our next step is to place this shoe onto this plane so it is actually quite easy all you have to do is just hold on the shift key and just simply click or pick up this parent and just drag it onto this 3d solid like that so you can see that it will automatically place your shoe onto the surface now we can unparent it because we don't want it so just set it to none and once you are happy with this we can select this press r and now it's completely up to you can just rotate your shoe however you want and you can see that its anchor point is somewhere around here we basically want it somewhere in the middle so you can select the move anchor tool and let's just move it somewhere in the middle of this shoe like that so here you can see we have this perfect 
So once you're done with this, you can see we have everything lined up. So if I press play, let me just quickly make it big like that. You can use the arrow keys to like place it onto this plane. Now we can hide this just to see what we have over here. Now if I press play, you can see our shoe is sticking to the plane. Perfect. But you will notice one thing that this is not looking very nice because it is not blending with our scene. And also we don't have any kind of shadows. So for that, we need some lighting and this is where the HDRI will come in handy. So in order to add the lighting, first we are going to create a new light. So just right click light and under this we are going to select the environment light and make sure that cast shadow is checked then click on OK. Now we are going to drag the HDRI which we just downloaded like that. Now we don't have to see it so I'm going to just quickly hide it but under the environment light we have to change the source and just select the HDRI which you just imported and right away you can see our scene is looking a little different because we have add, added some lighting. Now we can select this press R. Now you can play around with the angle of rotation just to match the lighting that you are able to see in the scene. So now it's completely up to you. You can just try to match your scene. But still you can see that we are not able to see any kind of shadows and reason for that is we have to do one more setting and if i click on this advanced option here we have this rendering option just click on that and after that we have this option to fit to screen just click on that and now it will make your shadows appear just click on ok here you can see we are able to see the shadows and the shadows are casting onto this plane so we can like make it little bit big like that perfect now we don't want to actually see this plane we only want to see the shadows so for that we have a very nice option so if i go inside the plane settings we have this material option under the cast shadow option this accept shadow option we have this turned on if i click on it you can see now it will turn to only that means we are only able to see these shadows not the solid which is exactly what we want so now our next step is to match the angle of lighting so once we have the shadows we can again go back to this and just roughly try to match the lighting so let me try this and i think this looks good to me yeah this angle looks good to me and right now the lighting is coming from the front side perfect so once you're happy with this we are ready to animate it out so first let me just quickly select this and let's add keyframe for position r for rotation let's add keyframe for everything now i can press u and let's select the keyframes and let's move it to the very beginning now just go to wherever you want your shoe to start animating so somewhere around here i'm going to just simply lift the shoe first like that and then we can move and play around with other settings and first i'm going to like point it straight towards us and then i'm going to like make it something like that so here you can see we have this shoe facing us perfect and you will notice that we are our shadow is being cut out so for that we can move this plane like a little bit far away because we only have shadows at the back not in the front but also you can press s to like just simply scale this up like that so if i press play our shoe is being animated perfect now we can select these keyframes and press f9 to ease them let's go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different then make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph and i'm going to change the graph to look something like that so that it starts slow then we have this little bit faster movement and then we have our shoe perfect so everything is looking fine our next step is to add some text which is actually quite easy all you have to do is just simply select the text tool and just type whatever you want and let's align it to the center now we want this text to be like behind our shoe so for that you can just simply select this layer and we can place it like this now if you place it between these two then you can see we won't be able to see any shadows so just make sure that you place it like after this solid plane so here we have our text now it is like behind our shoe which is perfect now you can apply some text presets so just go in under the presets and we have the text and from here you can pick whatever preset you want so simply select that and just simply drag it onto your text layer and you can see we have all the animations already applied so this is how you can create these kind of cgi ads and you can have more elements and you can create some interesting scenes like this
Now, if you want to take your skills to the next level, then I have uploaded this advanced tutorial on my Patreon page where I have explained how you can create this 3D shoe and text animation. So you can check it out by clicking on the link in the description. Also, the tutorial project files are also available on my Patreon, so you can check it out. All the details are in the description. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.